1982 was a big year for video game catalogs, with all of these companies promoting their games and hardware to an unsure public skeptical about the future of video games, confused about the choices in front of them. Is this game with blinking dots better than that game with blinking dots? Well, Intellivision's here to tell you that theirs is. See the difference? Our blinking dots are better. Sadly, their controller was worse. Of course, they're not going to admit that. In fact, they tell you that you're in control. Also, Intellivision has quality and value more than conventional video game systems. A nice dig at the Atari 2600. There's actually two versions of this catalog. One of them says voice synthesis module coming soon. The other does not. And that version omits the page boasting about the controller. Because that's complete BS. My thumbs still hurt from playing Space Armada last week. But I've voiced my displeasure about the Intellivision controller over the years. However, I'm quite fond of most of their games. Which do feature better graphics than the competing Atari 2600. Sadly, the controller is a major step backwards, but check out the beautiful full-color artwork in the Intellivision Intelligent Television Video Game Catalog. Spanning 38 pages. 38 pages. Companies can't even bother to print you a black and white instruction manual anymore. But they give you a 38-page catalog in every game. And the artwork's really good. This isn't quite as stylish as something like that Atari 5200 catalog I recently reviewed. That's just a beautiful catalog, also filled with marketing BS. This one, however, has got some real work put into it. Lots of information, tons of games, and it's big enough that you could read it for an afternoon. Sadly, this catalog only did them so much good because Mattel's Intellivision was not a terribly successful game system. However, it still has a massive following these days. In fact, games are still being released for it. I reviewed one last year. A 2012 release on the Intellivision, which is not in this catalog. That's how time works. But you know what is in this catalog? Lots of sports games. Like half this catalog is sports games. Half this catalog should have been space games. Come on. Those were the best. But you gotta admit, these are pretty good looking games for 1982. And while the Intellivision had or has its issues, it's prone to failure, which is why I recommend the Intellivision 2 now, the uh, 1984 model, there are loads of games available for the Intellivision. Many of them are from third parties like Activision and uh, Magic and Parker Brothers. These are the Mattel brand games. Now, some of you will recognize these as the M Network games on Atari 2600. Now, here's a nice blast from the past. Who remembers the Electric Company? There's a special treat at the end of this catalog. That's right. It's the Intellivision Intelligent Television Game Club, which costs $1.50 to join, but you do get a membership card and handsome membership certificate fit for framing. I want that on the wall of the Space Arcade. I'm mailing this in. I'm assuming the offer is still valid more than 30 years later. Now, I didn't even mention how amazing the artwork is on the front of the Intellivision catalog. Look at all of those crazy people. And I totally dig that kid's shirt. I think I also had that haircut. It's the 1982 Intellivision game catalog.